In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create flat style surfing girl. You will see how to draw trendy minimal illustrations step by step from sketch using pen tool, pencil tool and gradient tool. Any beginner can draw awesome flat style character with this tutorial. You're watching TNT tutorials. Let's move on and create a new document. Select print, A4, horizontal orientation. In advanced options, select RGB and click create. You can download sketch, image reference and colors by the link in the video description. Just create layers for them, rename them and place them like so. Then create new layer. I will rename it to surfing girl. Click on this fill color icon. Select none. Press L for ellipse tool. Draw ellipse like so. Rotate it. V for selection tool. Place it here. Then you can change proportions of this ellipse with direct selection tool. Press A. Move handles like this. Just a little bit. Deselect this object. Click somewhere on the workspace. Press P for pen tool. Start to build line from this point. Just drag it like so. Then drag it here. We need to make as less points as we can. When we have less points, we have better control on each shape. Just create lines like so. Then drag point here. And simply connect these points. Let's create another shape. Just drag handles to make smooth lines. If you want to zoom out, just press Z, zoom out. To continue, click on this final point again, drag handles. Just create points like so. You should have similar results. If you won't click on final point with pen tool, you won't be able to continue with this line. So I will delete this point. Simply click on this point again, drag this handle and continue build lines. Move handles like so when you see that you need to place them like this. Right now we're building one big shape and then we will separate it to different parts. Just click here, drag point like so, hold alt, move this handle here and connect these points. Now if you want to edit some lines, A for direct selection tool, pick points and use handles. You can even delete some points if you want, P for pen tool and just click on them. Then A for direct selection tool and move handle like so. As you can see, as less points you have, as smoother lines you get. Let's add a point here. Just click here with pen tool and move handles like this. Now let's separate this shape. Deselect this object, P for pen tool, click on this point. Drag handle like this, build this line, V for selection tool, select these shapes, Shift plus M for shape builder tool and click on this part. Now you have two different shapes. Let's create this leg. To build sharp corner hold Alt and move handles. V for selection tool, select this object and nearby objects, shift plus M and click on this part. Let's create arm, just drag handles like so. Use space to navigate through your workspace, just hold space, navigate and release it. After you drag these handles like so to make smooth line here, you want to continue to build this shape, but you obviously can't do this because of this handle. Hold Alt, move this handle here and simply continue. 
I will zoom in, P for pen tool, click on this point again, drag handle like so. In such cases, you can simply connect points like this, and then after we will fill these layers with color, we will place this layer behind this one, so this part won't be visible. Let's take a look at proportions, A for direct selection tool. Move handles if you see that you need to. I will delete this point. And move this handle like so. This arm is too thin. Let's change it like this. If you want to change direction of some parts, just pick anchor point and play with handles, like so. Now let's make separation here. Just deselect all objects, P for pen tool, click here to build new points, then drag point here, deselect it, select all nearby objects, Shift plus M, and click here to create new object. Let's do the same here. I will show you example when shape builder is not working. If your lines are not overlapping, you can't build new shape. So you need to place this line like this, or simply overlap, then select objects, shift plus M, and then you can create new shapes. After you created new shape like this, just zoom in and delete a necessary part. So now we have this shape. Let's create one more layer here. P for pen tool. Start to build line from this point. Just follow reference. Then hold Alt. Move handle like this. And connect points. Let's create another part of this composition. Just build it like so. We will need only four points. If you want to play with proportions, A for direct selection tool, and play with handles. As we have all these objects drawn, let's make sketch layer invisible and apply colors according to reference. Just select any object, I for eyedropper tool, and pick color. Let's pick color for this one. First we'll apply solid colors and then we will apply gradients. Now pick this layer and apply this color. Select hair layer, right click, arrange, send to back. Now let's simply select these shapes and apply this color. This one, pink color here, yellow color for this one, right click, arrange, send to back. Let's bring this layer down, right click, arrange, send to back. If you see that you need to change any proportions, Use Direct Selection tool. In some cases you might want to hide artboards. To do this, click on View, Hide Artboards. If you want to make it visible again, View, Show Artboards. So now I will simply move this one here. Let's create new layer, rename it to Background, bring it down, press N for Pencil tool, press Enter, move marker here to make more smooth lines. Also, you can repeat these settings if you have them unchecked. Click OK. Don't worry about color for now. Just try to match reference and build similar shape. To connect points, move last point to first one. P for pen tool to delete unnecessary points. A for direct selection tool to move handles. Or simply drag this dot. I for eyedropper tool and pick this color. To view points of this object, press A for direct selection tool. If you have too many of these points, go to Object, Path, Simplify. Click on Preview and play with these values. You can click here to show original. With these blue points, you'll be able to see what the shape was look like before Simplify feature. You should get as less points as you can. 
I will get this result. OK. We did this just to have better control on this shape, because as less points you have, as more handy to manipulate them. You can use Direct Selection tool to edit this shape. You can delete even more points with Pen tool. You can also change proportions like this. Now let's make this object look more interesting. P for Pen tool. Click on this point, then on this point, then create shape like this. V for Selection tool. Select this one also. Shift plus M for Shape Builder. Hold Alt and click on this part. V for Selection tool. Deselect this object. Pick this one. Bring it down. Right here. Click on this menu, select HSB and drag this marker like this. Now select these layers, press Ctrl G to group them. Let's apply gradients, pick this layer, double click on gradient tool, select linear gradient, drag gradient tool like this. If you want to build exactly straight line, hold shift, then select this marker, click here for color picker, select this color, now click on this marker. Pick this color, and now you can change gradient with this marker by making this line longer. And to make more contrast gradient, just move these markers closer to each other, like this. I think I will make this gradient more soft. If you pressed V for selection tool and you want to bring gradient tool back, press G for gradient tool and continue working with it. Now let's do basically the same with other layers. Pick this one, linear gradient, pick this marker, color picker. Let's pick this color first. Next marker, let's pick this color. V for selection tool. Now press G for gradient tool to make it active and change its direction. Now we don't need to pick colors for each one of these layers. Just select them all. Eye for eyedropper tool and click on this layer. All you need to do now is to pick each one of them and change direction and proportions of this gradient. Let's select these three layers. Right click, arrange, bring to front. Now pick this one, G for gradient tool. Move this gradient like so. Let's make it more contrast, like this. Let's change gradient for this layer. Change gradients for other layers. Try different combinations, play with gradient tool. You can get best results when you try different combinations. Now you can click on view, show artboards, place your picture on the center. If you want to make artboards bigger, shift plus O. And simply increase or decrease size, or even change proportions. To draw minimal flat style surfing girl, we needed almost only pen tool and gradient tool. You can use pencil tool in your artwork also, it helps to quickly create shapes, so you can create any shape, see if it fits well, correct it with direct selection tool, simplify feature, and the same good old pen tool. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials, see you in next videos!